Hello, everyone! Welcome back! We are playing Vandal Hearts for the PS1, and my nose is stuffy, so I'm praying that I'm not coming down with a cold, or else I'm going to be very upset. But, uh, anyways, uh, when we last left off, we had met up with the character Grog, who we needed to take us to Gelbaris Island, but he refused, he was afraid, or I don't know, he, he's been a weird drunk or something. And he refused to take us uh, unless we could prove our worth and come here to this uh, sand pits of hell and take out this huge death ant. That's what it's called. It looks like a huge caterpillar or something that's been terrorizing the village. So that's what we're doing here. Uh, this fight is or can be pretty tricky because you see all this terrain over here. Wherever this boss moves, the terrain goes with them. And that's what makes the, the fight extremely challenging. So what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to get away from these trees. I don't want to be behind them. Because that'll make it a little bit easier for me to uh, traverse. Um, traverse, yeah. Well, yeah, I guess it is traverse. To traverse up these mountains. And again, what makes this just so freaking tricky is the fact that these stupid arms keep regenerating every time I kill them. And look at that, it just dodged. Man, I'm having no luck already. The battle just started. But yeah, you don't get no experience from killing them. You don't get no money. You have to basically go straight for the head, or aim straight for the head, and pray that you get lucky. Best way to put it. And look, they have no terrain disadvantage. They can traverse it just fine. I guess they, they're used to the sand. I don't know. Here they come. Go right after Diego. And the other thing that's annoying about them, and look, we haven't gotten I haven't gotten unlucky enough yet. Oh my God! Can I hit something? God damn! Yeah, those arms have a chance of paralyzing you. That's the the other great bad thing. Oh great, Diego's so screwed. Look at this. There's still a tree in my way. Holy shit! Ugh, this is not a good start. Not a freaking good start here. Oh yeah, yeah. We're gonna have to aim for its head. No shit. All right, Ash obviously can't reach the boss, but he can't reach the arm. Arm is dead. Get him out of the way. Arm is blocking my path. Ugh. All right, I gotta get set up here. Get her here. Dark Star, the boss. Again, we're going to want to aim straight for the boss because the arms give no experience and it's kind of worthless to kill them unless they're blocking your way because they do do pretty significant damage and paralyze, so that's pretty frustrating. Um, what do I want to do here? What do I want to do here? I'm thinking, thinking, thinking. I want to get Kyra this end. Well, actually. Kyra, Kyra, Kyra. Oh boy. Here, I'll get Clint on this end. Hugsley will need to heal, actually. Diego can move back one space. No, not back one space. You can move back one space this way. Attack. Wow. I am the luckiest person in the world, ain't I? Ugh. Heal Diego. There. 24 experience. Hugsley leveled up. And if I remember correctly, he's level 9. And I think at level 9... He, oh, no, level 8. I was wrong. At level 8, he gets a new ability. Called Mystic Shield, which is extremely useful. Increases the enemy's defense. Okay, where do I want to move now? There's good, I guess. Alright, this should be interesting. Let's see what happens this next turn. Will I survive it? If I survive it, I think I can win this battle. If I don't, I'm dead. Yep, arms respawn for everyone you kill. 
Alright, here we go. This should be interesting. Going after Clint already? Alright, it didn't paralyze him. That's good. And you're dead. Going after Ash? Let me guess. No, he didn't get paralyzed either. So far, so good. Dead. Going after Clint. Oh boy. Dead. Anyone else? Damn. Aha, you guys can't reach. Going after Ash. <laughs> oh man. Dead. Now here's the million dollar question. Where's the boss gonna go? And where he goes is probably gonna really hurt. Look at that, he's going right for Ash. At least it seems that way. Yep. Will Ash survive? If not, he survived! Which means I think I might win this battle. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alrighty. That went better than I, had, I could ever hope for. Alright, so what do we do? Um, first thing is first, you move... Back one space. Attack the boss. Nice. 15 experience. You move back one space. Attack the boss. I set this up. I couldn't have set this thing up any better. Couldn't have set it up any better. Again, this is pretty, pretty, could be a pretty hard fight if you don't have everyone positioned. Like, I try to position my archers on opposite ends and my mage as far in as possible, in the, as far in the middle as possible so you can reach the boss. So, magic attack. Dark star. Because that was the problem I had the first time I played this game. I didn't put uh, Eleni towards the middle of my entire group. Look at that. I didn't even have to go with the rest of my characters. Sweet. I should have. Damn, that sucks. I probably should have healed with Hugsley first if I knew I was going to kill him with one hit and Eleni. Oh, well, it's alright. But yeah, that's the problem I had the first time. I didn't put her in the middle of the group and uh, she couldn't reach the boss, so I was just struggling with him. I never thought you guys were really going to do it. So that means you'll take us now, right? Ugh. Uh, let me sleep on it, okay? Sleep on it? But you promised! Hold on. We'll accept your answer tomorrow, but let me just say one thing. Whoever it is you've lost drinking won't bring them back. Or them back. Just remember that. Little brother, I'm sorry. The next day. All right, I'll take you. Thanks a lot. I thought about what you said, and you're right. Grog joins your party, sweet! Now we have all the free beer and booze we can get! The ship's docked, just out of town. Sweet! We all get free booze, sweet! I'm so happy. So happy. Anyways, we got items we can uh, trans... I'm gonna try, let's see. Do we have anything in the depot? Any weapons? Any armor? Any items? Elixir cure status ailments. We shall give that to Clint. And status ailments is basically what I should have probably brought with me to the last battle in case one of my characters got paralyzed. Luck luckily, I lucked out. Let's see if there's anything in the shop here. Buy weapons. Nope. Uh, I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Sorry about that interruption. Um, 
It's my brother calling me up. Okay, so anyways, what we're doing here. I'm like losing, lost track of what we're doing. Oh yeah, I was seeing if there was any weapons, but there's not. So, we can leave town and move on to Godder, the Godder Sea. Yay. <clears throat> the hell is this? Oh great. Can I can I breathe for one second, guys? God damn. Oh boy, this looks fun. Ah, uh, I knew he'd show up. That's H Hassan the pirate resurrected from Dragon Quest 5. He's turned evil. It's been too long since we've seen some action. You're so famous that no ship even try to come. Through anymore. Look, this is no traitor, but there's two women. Eh? Who's that? I've come to avenge my friends. I got an accent all of a sudden. You really want to? Man, I'm losing track of all these voices. <laughs> uh, good stuff. Oh, ho, ho. no problem. Let's fight then. You ran away while your friends died. One by one, then no drunken good for nothing has been alive to fight. Ha ha. Victory, defeat of Hassan, death. Is the death of Ash. Damn it, Ash is so goddamn important. Look at all these goddamn enemies. What will happen? What will happen? Find out next time as we continue to play Vandal Hearts. Goodbye!